All right, folks. In the last video, we created the EC2 cluster. We were able to create uh, the S3 storage space as well. And then uh, we were able to set up this via uh, the web data generator retail to a level wherein we can start streaming. Now, before streaming, what we would need to do is have the Kinesis streams in order to receive the data from this uh, web, web data generator Python code. So in order to do that, I'm going to go back to my EC2, the Amazon Web Services, sorry, and then click on services, uh, search for Kinesis, uh, K-I-N-E-S-I-S, uh, -E -S -S, and then uh, you would get a pop-up saying that work with real-time streaming data. Click on this and you would see Kinesis and there are some uh, stuff where you can read a lot of other stuffs as well. Uh, our data about uh, details about Kinesis, what is data streams, analytics, and as well as Firehose. So now start with create data stream. So I'm creating a data stream. Remember in the previous video, uh, we had named our stream as AA real stream. So we are going to put the same stream here. Uh, I'm going to say AA real stream here. So AA retail stream. I'm sorry, it is AA retail stream here. And number of shards, uh, just put one because we are not expecting huge data. Uh, one MB per second is more than enough. And say create a Kinesis stream. and it is creating. So in the meanwhile, uh, it is creating. Uh, we are going to go and uh, come out of this VI editor. And then start running this code. So once the stream is generated or created, uh, we are going to run this code here. It's going to take some time. So this is active now, retail stream. I'm going to click on this. And then uh, I'm going to just go to monitoring. And you can see that uh, there is no transaction. Obviously, we have not published it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go back and execute this Python code. Remember that it's going to put it on the stream. Uh, please note that uh, the code is now running and then the data is uh, getting posted. Now let's look at this data onto the stream. Now let's go and uh, see if this data is visible uh, on the on the stream, right? We want to see that this data is visible on the stream or not. Please note that this J data is in JSON format. Uh, going on here, uh, just to a refresh, uh, you would see there is some transaction coming in, right? Uh, it, please note that it takes some time to uh, display what all is coming. So give it a moment or so. Uh, just say five minutes and refresh it. And you would see that there is some data coming in. You see that here, 8.6K. Uh, and if you can, if you want to change it to one minute, you would see some lines coming in as well. So there you go. There is some data coming in. And as and when, uh, give it a couple of more minutes and it's going to show you uh, some real good trend. So let's go back to our architecture. So now we did the Kinesis stream. Please note that the Python code is now generating and putting it on a stream. And then we would create data analytics on Kinesis and then Firehose. So uh, let it run in the background. Let it start accumulating uh, data, lots and lots of data. Yeah, there you go. You would see that the data is flowing in now. So let's create the data analytics. I'm going to click on this. And I would say create application. Here I'm going to say AA uh, retail analytics. 
so retail analytics and I'm going to say create application and it's successfully created now I need to connect this to streaming data so I say connect streaming data and I'm going to use the stream I'm going to say retail stream so connect streaming data Kinesis stream a retail stream and I'm going to click on discover schema discover schema meaning it will understand what kind of data is being is being flown in so from now onwards it's going to discover data please note that it is a time consuming step uh, it's going to take some time but uh, it's going to tell you what records or what columns are coming in from the oh there you go so this is customer id ip device type router device name website url ip browser app name all this data is coming in wow this is good so so it connected again i'll, I'll quickly recap we created a retail analytics configure a new stream we selected the stream um, Please make sure that in our SQL sources refer to this source as SQL source SQL stream 001 which we're going to do that and then um, kept all the property default I clicked on uh, schema discovery and then there you go if you see the raw format this is how I'm sending in the data from here so it's, it's a raw, raw format customer ID but now it is able to read that data uh, in this uh, format now I click on save and continue and you would see that uh, now that the application status is ready now once the application status is ready I'll go to the SQL editor now, SQL editor is where you would ha have to write your code in order to pass this code to the firehose uh, please note that uh, there are various approaches uh, various uh, plumbing which you can do but uh, you know it depends what you are trying to achieve for my use case the stuff which I am showing you works really well now let's uh, think about this SQL so in regard to the SQL there are a lot of templates if you want to use uh, continuous filtration uh, this, this is a template aggregation uh, if you want to do the anomaly detection uh, these are very simple things which Amazon provides you as a and as as a template but we don't want to change any data whatever data is coming in I want to just get that data out so I'm just going to start the application uh, if you have not started there would be a button uh, to click and get the application started so there you go I have the data here now I want to use the destination now let me talk to you about connect reference data so for example this is a real-time data you want to have a reference data like customer name or customer geography uh, based on the customer ID you can do that as well so uh, I don't have the reference data now and then based on the diagram you have analytics I'm going to connect through the fire hose so please note that you do not need analytics here because you are not doing any filtration but if you have to then you can do it if not then uh, you can go directly go here and create a fire hose uh, so I'm going to create a fire hose delivery system uh, which is this one in the next video. Thank you for watching.